In this tutorial, I will show you how to backup and restore a MySQL database with Windows version of Handy Backup. Here I have a fresh installation of WAMP Server, which is a free web development platform with Apache, MySQL and PHP. To backup the database, I will use Handy Backup version 7.3.0. Using phpMyAdmin, I've created a sample database called test and a sample table called table1. The table has four fields of different types and I've already inserted three rows with some test data. Now let's see how to backup this table with handy backup. Click the new task icon on the toolbar, select backup task and then click next. Select MySQL and click add. By default, in this dialog, new configuration will be the only option. We name the configuration, enter a username and a password, test connection, and click OK. The new configuration automatically appears in the list. Click the plus sign to expand the tree. Here is a file system where folders are databases and files are tables. Check the box near our sample table, table 1, and then click OK. Go to the next step. Here we need to select destination where to store the backup. By default, it's C users username backups. Looks fine, click Next. I selected differential backup so I can run the task many times and each execution will backup changes only. Skipping compression, encryption, scheduling and other options. Finally, name the task. Click Finish. The task is started immediately. Since the table is very small, it finishes in a second. Let's see what we have in Backups. Handy Backup has created a folder named similarly to the task name. Folder 0 contains first full backup. Inside there are some index files and a file called Table 1. If we open it with a text editor, we can see that it is a MySQL dump, a set of SQL statements required to reproduce the database from scratch. Note that their format is very understandable, and you can modify this file manually. For example, if you want to set up a master-to-slave replication configuration, then you can simply change the storage engine and restore this backup to MySQL slave server. Now let's modify the table by adding an URL. There it is. Now take a backup. And let's add another row. And backup again. In the destination folder, we can now see three folders named 0, 1, and 2. These are the three snapshots that we made. Let's now roll the database back to the original state, create a new restore task. Find the backup that you want to restore and then click Next. Skip advanced options by clicking Next name the task and click finish to run it. Go to phpMyAdmin and see what we have. You can see that the table is now in its original state. Now let's try to go to a different snapshot. To do it, we'll create another restore task and select another index file. Restore finished successfully, and now we have four rows in our table. At last, let's restore the final snapshot. We can do it in a fast way by right-clicking the backup task and selecting Restore. This option always restores the latest backup. Check the database. Yes, everything worked as supposed.
I have shown you how to backup and restore MySQL databases with the MySQL Backup plugin in Hand Backup. Thanks for watching and good luck.